Hello folks, <coughs> fellow YouTubers and friends. Welcome again to Boomtown Laboratories. Well, for the past 12 years we've been dedicated, off and on, to the research and development of the Milkovic two-stage mechanical oscillator. This uh, is my second video on sharing my secrets that I've learned over the years. Uh, the first video was uh, about the pendulum itself and the swinging of it to board, which a lot of you already know. The longer the pendulum, the more time it takes to swing, but you increase, for example, if you swing it at uh, one meter, it's a uh, period of timing is from here to here and back, that's one cycle, is to uh, one second. If you double the length, then it becomes two seconds. Okay? Everybody knows that. But, the problem is, when you double the length, you double the time. But when you double the length, you increase the actual pull of the pendulum by almost three. So you get more physical energy per second. I don't know if you, hopefully that ready you. Okay, now, uh, you take one meter, pendulum weighs 500 pounds, it's going to pull so many pounds. Okay, two meters, it's going to go two seconds, but it's going to pull almost three times as much weight. There's, there is your the secret of the pendulum. It's not a big deal. Second secret of the pendulum is the pendulum's here. The pivot point is going up and down. All right, in my last video, my eyes are burning, I'm sorry. In my last video, I told people, quit using bicycle bridge. I'm going to show you why. This video is all about the power transfer bar, okay? Now, true pendulum of two-stage oscillator, the power bar is pivoted at this point. However, when you use a bicycle frame, your pivot point is down here, your uh, lift, lifting arm is over here, and your pivot of your pivot zone is here. Now, this is what happens in a bicycle frame. Okay, you see that arc? When you when you pivot, it swing, it goes out. It goes down, but it goes out. And the more pronounced, the more it goes out than down. You see my point? Okay. I think you got that. All right. So the power transfer bar. The trick is, it must be straight. It must, the pivot point must be practically in line with the pivot point of the pendulum and the lifting point of the power transfer bar. Now, the more the bar goes up and down, the more it's going to swing in or out. So, therefore, you want this of a, a, a decent length. If it's six inches, it's going to come in for a, one inch down, it's going to come in further than if it's 12 inches, it's going to come down at one inch, it's not going to come in as far. But you don't want to do this very long. You don't want to move this up and down, full up and down, more than a half an inch. Because the more it moves up and down, the more power you need to put into the pendulum. This is the, the secret of the power transfer bar. All right. I prefer a 2 to 1 ratio. I prefer 12 to 18 inches out and 24 to 30 inches out on this side, giving me a 2 to 1 ratio. Now, that doesn't sound like much. You move this a half inch, it's going to move one inch, and it's going to pick up a lot of that going away. And that's another thing that the third video, we're going to discuss that. How you can pick up lesser weight, but a much greater distance, therefore getting work out of it. Now, I know there was a uh, one person that was complaining on Milkovic's official website about the two stage oscillator that uh, he's getting tired of seeing people pumping water with it and seeing it lift the weight and drop the weight. Well, 
Yes. <laughs> yes. The thing is, there are ways to get work out of it. And I'll show you in video uh, three or four. I'm not sure which one yet. Because I'm trying to cover this in small increments so people can get the idea. All right. Now, the, work, the power transfer bar, like I said, you don't want it to move very much. You want to take care of that in a different phase of the machine. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can, how to explain this any better. But uh, anyway, I know this video is really short. I just want people to think about this a minute because the next phase is what are you going to do with the, with the this end moving up and down. You're only moving up and down one inch. Okay? Next video is going to show you exactly what to do with this over here where you really, really get the power out of the machine. Now, in this particular phase right here, you're looking at uh, anywhere from uh, two to three times more energy out to put in. That doesn't sound like a lot. But the next phase will show you how, the next video, three or four, which is going to show you how you increase the, the power output without increasing the power input. By power, I'm talking about work done. All right, to pick up, say for example, it picks up 100 pounds, one inch. Big deal. Big deal. But what if it could pick up five pounds, I'm, I'm sorry, 50 pounds, five inches? Well, 100 pounds, one inch is 100 inch pounds. But 50 pounds, five inches is 250 inch pounds. But in order for it to pick it up five inches over here, you've got to come down two and a half inches over here. Uh-uh. Sorry. No, you don't. No, you don't. And we're going to explain that in the next video. Like I said, 12 years I've been working on this. Uh, please, just study the video and think about what I'm doing and look forward to the next video. Hopefully I'll do it in one or two more days.